So if you're like me, you are pleasantly surprised with the performance of the Husqvarna Auto Mower mowing system with its tiny razor blades, but you also maybe don't replace them as often as you should. You can see mine here are getting a little bit old, but I hate to replace them because they're just pretty expensive when you buy them from Husqvarna. So one day I was walking through the hardware store and noticed, hey, you know, these carpet knife blades look a lot like the Husqvarna auto mower blades that you can buy online, except they're a fraction of the cost. So I decided to try some and just see if they, by any chance, would fit on the Husqvarna mower. And looking at the blades, they are very similar in uh, width, but there's definitely a difference in length. The holes were similar diameter though, so I decided to go ahead and throw them on the screw and see how they fit. And aside from being a little bit loose, they did fit pretty well. They were just obviously much, much longer than the stock Husqvarna blades or even the, the premium endurance blades, which you could see on Husqvarna's website. Um, and that length did pose to be a problem because Obviously, it was hitting the inside of the mower deck, as you can see here. The blade uh, was not able to just rotate freely um, in, in the flail-type fashion uh, without hitting the inside of the deck. But rather than return them, I just decided I would go ahead and try modifying them to see how it would turn out. So I shortened them to two inches using this uh, wooden fixture that I made here. And so the end result was a square two inch blade rather than a two and one quarter inch blade. But as you can see, it still hit the inside of the mower deck. So back to the grinder to take a little more off. So now it's one and three quarter inches. And now, as you can see, it barely clears the deck. It is um, usable, but does not leave much room for error. It was close enough that it seemed like maybe it was worth a try. So the old blades are off and the new blades are on. So these are the carpet blades that have all been shortened to one and three quarter inch in length. And that is the maximum length that's allowable while still clearing the deck. Before we make a verdict on whether this is a success, let's see how they cut in the yard. Let's take a look at the carpet knife blades and see how they're faring after the first, oh, probably five minutes of mowing. So the first thing I want to check is make sure all the screws are tight, that they are not loosening for some reason. I don't see any grave damage on the inside of the, the mower shroud, although there is a little nick right there, you can see. So I would say these blades are still a little bit too long. If I was going to make a bunch of these, I would probably shorten them to 1 and 11 sixteenths or even 1 and 5 eighths. I'll let these run for a while and see how they do, but uh, so far they seem to be uh, doing all right. I do suspect that overall the Husqvarna blades are, are just a better value. Um, I don't think buying these blades and going through the work to shorten them and then risk damaging something is, is really worth it. But if you happen to have a bunch of carpet blades or you're just really operating on a budget and you have more more time than money, um, I think this is a, a viable option. You know, if you want the uh, the premium blade style, but uh, do not want to pay the premium blade price. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.